fellow YouTubers, welcome back to another Space Engineers video. I never really had the chance to celebrate passing the 100 subscriber mark, so I want to thank you all of you who are supporting this channel. And to everyone else, I really enjoy reading your comments and interacting with you guys whenever it is possible. I also appreciate all the great suggestions and recommendations you guys have given me so far. If you mainly came here for the White Serpent release, you may press this annotation to directly skip to it. So I wanted to update everybody of what I have been doing. I want to start off by saying that I could not continue working on the Spirit Orbital Cannon since you might have seen or even heard that Steam has gotten an update that has messed up the Space Engineers Workshop so it is impossible to load um, a modded world at the moment. Ever since the planet release, pistons and rotors have gotten a lot less stable. As you can see here, the orbital cannon was split into two, making any progress rather difficult. I read most of your comments and I came across some really amazing suggestions, such as methods to make the warheads a lot less expensive by means of using batteries, since these come with 30% power upon construction as it was pointed out by Rohan to me. Cluster bombs were frequently requested and I've been trying to develop them, but the more complex and interesting concepts were held off by the evil and stable pistons and rotors, shaking and spinning out of control. I made an improved scouting drone, which in this video still uses the communications satellite dish. There is, however, a better mod for this task, which is called the Pseudo Infinite Laser Antenna, which increases the range to extremes, allowing to scout at any distance and therefore in turn allowing to fire at any range. I have also been working on new concepts and spaceships. The one we can see now is soon ready for download. I have also been scrapping some builds like this alien movie Nostromo inspired towing vessel since it became too large and detailed like this engine room, causing unplayable lag. If you missed this build, you can download it since it has been finished, but keep in mind that it was released before the planets, so it has no atmospheric thrusters and such. All these ideas and suggestions makes me want to do an entire new and improved orbital cannon incorporating those recommendations. It really felt like we were at the Borg, working as a collective entity. The video that you're about to see right now took actually 30 minutes to record, and I have compressed it down to 30 seconds. This is a warhead fired from the Spirit Cannon that uses a remote control block with the GPS coordinates set. My thanks to Rodney Vidimir, whose comments gave me this idea. As the warhead reaches the planet's natural gravitational pull and atmosphere, the remote control block begins to turn itself sideways, so that the belly of it faces the planet's surface. This is still an issue that I need to overcome. Now I am fully aware that you guys wanted to see explosions and the warhead fitted with bombs. I really wanted to do this today, but I just simply could not enter the world since this Steam update issue. However, even without the explosives, as you can see, it still causes massive damage. And this was an uh, earlier footage. I have also been working on a two-legged mech concept here, which will probably need some time until I can make it walk, if that's even possible, using event triggers or the timer block. Scripting probably would be the best way to go about it, but that's not my strong point, but I'm messing around with it nonetheless. Now to the actual beef of this video, which is the White Serpent spaceship. Now this was a spaceship created before there was even oxygen, so therefore no atmospheric thrusters or hydro thrusters and obviously no oxygen itself in the ship. As you can see here, it does have a few tricks up its sleeve and is exclusively to be used in space. It's a stealth based machine that makes itself appear harmless. but here, it opens up its uh, secret weapons, missile and gatling turrets pop out of those body parts, which by the way you can extend as much as you want or as much as your computer can handle. And it's also equipped with landing 
um, gears which are set to auto lock so you can wrap around your target. Here we can see also one of its secret weapons being fired out of its mouth. It's an older weapon concept, um, doesn't work so well ever, ever since uh, a few updates, but what it does, it has several sensors at the front which upon detection makes the thrusters push forward, drill trying to drill into the ship, and then explode. Now this was not the best um, example because I was firing against a very heavily uh, armored um, vessel and it just can't really get through it. Now if it were um, a vessel with one layer of armor or a station or anything of that nature which is not too heavily protected, this will drill inside and cause massive damage. Just think of this spaceship as an alien vessel, the crew not necessarily needing oxygen. Here we have a space explorer who gets a little bit too close for the white serpent's comfort and the white serpent opens up its weapons base and starts firing. The poor explorer here loses his gyroscope and he has no chance of escape now. He got too curious for his own good. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. This is Zaza Rising signing off. See you next time.